Hello and welcome to a new episode of the Aben Life Insider Tips. Quite some time ago I made a tutorial about the fastest way for combining drum racks because that was when Push offered the 64 pad layout. So recently uh, Sonic Bloom viewer reader um, commented on the video and shared his way of adding drum racks together in a very quick and dirty way, which is not, it's, it's not combining drum racks, um, but it's quicker. And so some of you might find it useful. So I thought I'd share it with you. His Facebook page, by the way, is linked in the description. And what we need for this is at least four or five MIDI tracks, depending on how many drum racks we, we want to combine. I'm going to show it to you with four drum kits of each 16 pads, you know, the kind that you can find in, in life already prepared for you, because I've got a push and it's got 64 pads. So I'm going to just drag and drop different drum kits with each 16 pads. into MIDI tracks and then what we need is a pitch effect for each apart from the first one. This one we're going to set to minus 16, the next one to minus 32 and then this one to minus 48. All right, then we need another MIDI track, which is going to be our input channel. And this has to be armed. Then all these have to be set to the first MIDI track. You can name it something. We could just quickly name it from rack input so then they have to make we have to make sure that they receive the MIDI in from this input channel and the monitoring has to be set to in of each of those as well and then we can just group it can just name that something as well. Just call it four drum racks. All right. Okay, so now that we've armed the track, we can technically already play. If you are using push, um, I've got a little tip for you because if you just keep it like this, then you will have the melodic layout and I find that pretty irritating to play with and if you have drum racks. So it's better to simply choose one of the drum rack tracks and then you get the drum rack layout. So if you just keep it like this with, with uh, C1 as the lowest note in the bottom left corner, then you can just play those first 16 pads and you get the first 16, the pads of the first drum rack that you've added. Then if you go f four rows up, you get the second. And then the third is four to the right. So the ones at the bottom. And then the fourth drum rack would be the top right quadrant. All right, so another thing that you can do, so it's actually quicker than, than that already once you've done it, is you can simply drag and drop this into the user library.
name it however you like. And then next time, you can simply edit just like this. And there you have it. So basically, you could just prepare that without the actual drum kits, the drum racks inside. So you would just drag and drop drum racks whenever you need them. OK, I hope you found this helpful. And I'll see you next time. Bye. If you're new to Ableton Live or Push, then check out my online video courses. More information can be found on my website, sonicbloom.net.